Out of the dark of night, from the shadows of the senses, comes this, the fantasy of fear. Nightmare, starring as your exciting guide to terror, Peter Laurie.
think you'll be all right, Jeff. Probably just nerves, like you said, working too hard, that's all. Yeah, I'm slow down. Yeah, maybe. Lots of people have feelings like this every once in a but while. But it's so real. Huh? It's so real. It seems so real when she comes. She? Who? A woman. <laughs> oh, so you're being followed by a woman. Yeah, well, let's see what you're so worried about. If you take my advice. Wait a minute, wait. You hear? Hear what? Listen. I don't hear a thing. Walk a few steps. You hear her? She's there. She's there behind us. Yep, I can't. Turn around quick. There she is. There she goes around that corner. I'll get her. You wait here. You saw her, Sam. I, I can't understand it. What's the matter? I just can't understand it. What, Sam? What? She was gone. No place to go. No place to hide. Gloria. What? I saw her face this time. It was Gloria. Gloria? <laughs> it can't be, Sam. It couldn't be, could it? Gloria's dead. Been dead for 15 years. You see, now, now you have part of the answer. Jeff is being followed. And... not mind too much if he's being followed by a woman. There's no such thing as an uninteresting female. <laughs> Women are so, uh, uh, what is the word, uh, oh, let's see, where was I? Oh, yes, yes, so Jeff Martin is being followed by a woman, being followed till he finds himself trapped, trapped in a living nightmare. <laughs> Now, let's see. Uh, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, yes. There must be a reason why some strange female is so interested in him. Hey, I know of a way to stop that woman's constant pursuit. You know, uh, women are always so fond of uh, pretty kerchiefs. Um, yes, but uh, why would a woman follow such a plain man as Jeff Martin? Well, let's find out. Ready for coffee? Are you ready for coffee, Jeff? Hmm? Do you want coffee or don't? Oh, yes, yes, thanks. What's the matter, Jeff? Do you... Do you believe in ghosts, Ellen? Ghosts? That people can come back, come back from death to haunt, to follow you until... Jeff, I think you'd better see a doctor. You don't believe me, do you? Believe you? How could I? Just that there aren't any things like ghosts. You know that as well as I do. No, no, I don't. You do. I know you do. It's just that you're upset, that's all. You're upset and you won't face what's really upsetting you, and so you think of... That's not true, Ellen. I know it's not true. Because I'm being followed by one, followed by a ghost. Yes. She's back, Ellen. She's come back to haunt me. Who, Jeff? Gloria. You're thinking of her again. You just won't let her alone, will you? You won't let her be dead. You have to keep thinking about her, reminding yourself about her, and reminding you. That's not it, Ellen. Don't tell me what's true and not true. Staring us in the face, Jeff. You still love her. You want her back. Ellen, please. You don't stand have her back. You hear that? You can't have her back. She's dead. She's dead, Jeff. She's dead, and the dead don't come back. Ellen, please. Ellen. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lost control. Won't happen again. How can I be jealous of a dead woman? It's impossible, isn't it? I just wish you'd stop saying your name in front of me, Jeff. I wish you'd stop. Ellen, believe me, I'm not doing this deliberately. She's come back, I tell you. She she follows me on the street. Please, Jeff. Ellen, it's true. Please, I... Jeff, I don't want to hear any more about it. Please. Phone's ringing. Huh? Phone. Oh, I'll get it. Hello? Ghost, Sam, I know it. I know there can't be ghosts. Then what's the explanation? I don't know. 
You think there are ghosts, Sam? Do you believe in them? Well, let's put it this way. I don't disbelieve. Remember what Shakespeare said? There are stranger things in heaven and earth? Yeah, yeah. You want to see Cole? I can set up an appointment. All right. All right, I'll try anything once. I have to do something. It's expensive. Money doesn't matter, Sam. Nothing matters now but my peace of mind. My marriage. I've got to do something. Tell Cole I'll see him. The same. Always been the same. First footsteps following me. But when I turn around, she's there just for a second. I see her and then she's gone. And you've tried to follow her? Yes, yes. Never successfully. She, she just seems to disappear into thin air. I see. And she's called you on the phone? Yes. You recognize the voice? No mistake. I see. Obviously, an electrophonic exoplasmic phenomena. What's that? Well, you needn't understand the terms. Ghost is good enough. Yeah. What can I do? Well, Cole, what can I do? We mustn't rush it. This requires careful consideration. Will you take the case? Well, I'm not sure yet. But you've got to. You've got to help me. Of course, of course, Mr. Martin. I'll try. But there are a number of things to do first. We'll have to have one or two more consultations. Full history detailed. On the basis of the facts, I'll know better how to approach it or whether to approach it at all. Yes. Sometimes this procedure can be, well, dangerous. If the person had a severely aggressive nature, for example, I'll have to know all about it. What do you want to know? Everything. In cases of electronic ectoplasmic phenomena, we need to know everything. And if there are complications of nuclear nature, we must proceed carefully, very carefully. Uh, how much How much will all this cost? That depends on what we find in the preliminary consultations. Uh, this interview will be $500. The next, perhaps 700 $1,200? A heavy drain on my powers, Mr. Martin. You must understand that. Cases of electrophonic ectoplasm are difficult. All right. Well, I'll, I'll go through with it. Good. I think you've made a wise decision. But you must tell me everything. Yes, yes. Now, let's get started, shall we? The woman's name, Gloria? Gloria Denham. Denham. And when did she die? Fifteen years ago. Now, Mr. Martin, what exactly was your relationship to her? We were engaged to be married. I see. And, of course, you must have had disagreements, fights at times. Will you tell me the exact nature of such arguments? Five hundred dollars? For heaven's sake, Jeff, have you lost all your reason? It's the only way, Ellen. Believe me, it's the only way. I've got to beat this thing. I can't let Gloria oh, go on. Stop it, stop it. I'm tired of hearing about Gloria and Gloria's ghost. You're trying to hurt me, Jeff. No. You're trying to hurt me and ruin yourself. Oh, let me. Ellen. Hello. Jeff. Jeff, darling. Who is it? Jeff. Who is it? Who is it? Ellen. Gloria. It was Gloria. I heard her voice. Stop it, will you? I'll have to drop this case if you don't tell me. All right. All right, I killed her. Is that what you want to hear? Did you? Yes, yes, yes. I killed her that night. I, I, I killed Gloria Denham. Now, now you're satisfied? I killed her. I killed her, and that's why she's come back after 15 years. Confession is always good for a soul. Or uh, so I'm told. Yes, Martin, the guilt became too much for you, didn't it? Like a stone around your neck. What are you going to do? Huh? <laughs> oh, poor Jeff. Poor Jeff. He's being followed. Followed by guilt. Followed. Until he's found himself trapped. Trapped in a living nightmare. People, people. Oh, there are so many different kinds of them. And, and so many of them look like so many of the rest of them. And, and a few look exactly alike. Yeah, have you ever come face to face with someone in a crowd who looked exactly like you? Perhaps you've met someone who looks like a person you knew, or someone uh, you knew very well. A person very close to you. Oh, for a split second, you're, you're gripped with terror. It cannot be true. 
And you know why. It may be for the same reason Jeff Martin has. That person is not alive. <laughs> I wonder what poor Jeff will do. And then? Well, she, she fell. Fell hard. At first I thought she was only unconscious, but then I, when I couldn't bring her to, I knew, I knew she was dead. That was when I left. I left, left the apartment. Nobody ever questioned me. I was in the clear, I thought. I never heard about her again. Have a drink, Mr. Mountain. Here you are. Thanks. In a way, it's a relief. A relief to tell somebody. It's been bottled up all these years. I feel better, of course. Well, I guess you better call the police. Now, Mr. Martin, please don't be so hasty. There may not be any need to call the police. But I killed her. I'm a murderer. I... Yes, yes, I know, I know. But we must recognize the reality. Old police haven't bothered you for 15 years. Why invite trouble now? Gloria's back. That's the trouble. Gloria, we can deal with. We can? A difficult case, but I think I can do it. Yes, we must conduct a seance and uh, put this ghost to bed once and for all. How, how much will it be? $4,000. $4,000? Oh, no, no, I can't. Now, you're a man of means, But Mr. that's Martin. all the money I have in the world. It's more than I've got. All it's... right, all right. I won't press you, Mr. Martin. If you feel you can't afford it, you know best. But I feel it my duty to point out the risks you're running, the possible danger. What do you mean? You see, these cases of electrophonic ectoplasm are unique. And there are definitely nuclear photon complications. The woman Gloria has achieved after 15 years of sonic and visual representation. She's obviously a strong positron framework. Hmm? An exceptional amount of beta, gamma, omega energy reserve. She will attain a material representation. And then, well, uh, then what? She has the power to kill. But if you can't afford the seance, Mr. Martin, I understand these things. I'm sorry I can't be of any more help, but my time is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll go through with it. The seance? Yes, yes. When can you do it? Tomorrow, if you like. We'll need a strong life energy frame to resist the power. All right. See you tomorrow, then. Now, if you'll all be seated. Any particular place? Uh, you over there, Mr. Lacey. All right. Mr. Martin will take the central seat. Yes, yes. Mrs. Martin? Thank you. Now, I think we're about ready. Do we uh, hold hands or anything? As I've informed your husband, Mrs. Martin, I'm not a medium. My work is scientific. No, we don't hold hands. Oh. If you'll just place your palms on the electrodes, we'll have the contact we need. Mm-hmm. I sit here, you see, next to the controls. It's by means of these controls that we achieve the contact with the electrophonic ectoplasmic being. I see. Gloria has succeeded in rearranging her energies into a representation of the life form once again. Mm-hmm. A remarkable feat, if I do say so. But on the other hand, she's put herself in danger. We can trap her by means of this machinery, you see. A complicated circuit, but essentially an arrangement of cathodes and anodes that will create a magnetic flux and draw her into our sight. Trap. I can't go through with it. No, I can't. Let me out of here. Just sit down. Ellen, Ellen, I can't. You can sit down, Jeff. Sit down. All right, all right. Now, I think we're ready. Uh, Mr. Lacey, will you turn out the light? Uh, sure. Good. Now, I'll set the controls. Now, please don't be frightened. What's that? Just adjusting the frequency, Miss Mark. She can vary her wavelength, too, you know. And that way she tries to evade us. But we'll get her. Huh. What's that? She's nabbed us. She can't escape now. Let me out of here. Sit down, Jack. Sit down. I want to see her. There she is. Oh. Is she even from her, Jack? Gloria? Yes. Yes, it's Gloria. She, she's fluorescent. She glows. Gloria, what do you want? Why don't you leave me alone? Why, why do you... Yeah. Oh, Jeff, call my husband, darling. Be quiet, Ellen. Oh, darling, Jeff. Oh, Gloria. You certainly succeeded. The poor man hasn't had a day's peace for months. Gloria, I didn't mean it. I know that. That's why I came back to tell you I know. Gloria. Gloria. Oh, you are the only wife. You couldn't hold him, but I did. Did you hear that? You, you hussy. Oh, Jeff, darling, I feel so sorry for you. She's as alive as I am. Well, you're alive. It's questionable. Shut up. Gloria, I, I, I don't understand. You're not dead. Oh, 
All right, Mr. Cole. Now you can return my husband four thousand dollars. Well, no. Uh, well, what? Uh, nothing. Uh, of course I'll return it. This was your fault, lady. You suggested his wife be here. I don't blame me, Cole. I did my best. You were in on it too. You, you. Now wait a minute, Jim. There's a better way to wind this up. Go on, Jeff. Don't just stand there. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Really, Mrs. Martin, is this necessary? It was only a little joke. Mm, but the last on you. Oh, if I haven't said, look what you did to my nylon. Oh, good. Hello. Hello, police. And so it was an awful dream the poor man had. One that left him running crazy mad. Do not be afraid or harbor doubts about the mind unless the eye of the mind goes blind. Go your way and see quite free. These things never happen uh, to you or me. Oh, I do hope you'll sleep tonight. Oh, no, I will. I, I think I, I'll sound warm before I retire. And then off to some pleasant 